this topic introduce use the installation of network simulator 2 i am currently using the version uh, 2.34 so in which we are going to uh, install the full procedure of how it is been installed in a linux machine uh, the operating system we have taken here is fedora 12 uh, with a dvd version so the dvd version contains all the packages and in rather than uh, installing the default setup we have to customize all the packages needed for uh, installation so if you are a beginner please select all the packages and then try to install fedora 12 now i have already have a pen drive and this is my home folder that is my name is pradeep kumar and uh, this folder is pradeep kumar home so once you double click over it this folder structure is getting opened now this is what the file ns all in one 2.34.tar.gz so this is the file responsible for installation of ns2 all in one in the sense that all together contained in the same package see the size is nearly 54.4 mb now we have to uh, since it is having a zipping kind of things that is tape archive and c zip so it is two levels of compression so we have to decompress it or in other easier words we can say we have to unzip it so either we can do it directly or we can go through a shell prompt, shell prompt. now go to applications system tools terminal once the terminal is there so the terminal always open at the home folder so for checking the home folder we have to use pwd it is present working directory now here if you use ls it show the list of file contents available in so we are going to use this file so for untarring or unzipping it the command here is tar zx vf and then the name of the file so the z is for decompressing from zzip x for extract v for verbose mode uh, verbose mode seeing that when you decompress it you can able to see the how the decompression happens and f is for forcing so without asking for it will directly force it so once you press enter you can verb mode thing now again you check it see that there is a new folder ns alignment 2.34 has been created now go to this folder so you have to uh, change the directory and go to ns alignment 2.34 now once this is done we can see the list so here it is having some folders like ns2.34 otcl nam network animator sgb tclcl this is the interface between otcl and c++ sgraph is a software is it libraries tk toolkit and dcl and there are something for wireless networks now once it is done a simple step is dot slash install so once you press it and enter it it will take some time we will uh, wait for uh, install path. like in most of the using term we are in variables but in linux we are, there is a separate file called as dot uh, bash or zip file if you see example uh, this folder when editing this it all the files available this and there are some hits bash score profile bash or now if i want to open a bash file what I can do is so I can use gedit gedit is similar like a editor in notepad editor like in windows I can use gedit dot bash underscore profile so this is what the file since the extension is itself dot bash profile the file is hidden files so we cannot see in GUI we cannot see the hidden files but we can able to uh, open the file through the commercial prompt now once you've done it open it so we can see that this is what the place where we can able to set our path now by default already the path is been set here so path equal to dollar path dollar path is nothing but the path is considered to be a variable so whatever path which is will be updated here and we can able to give the subsequent path now the path separator usually is colon but in windows we can see the path separator is semicolon now once installation of ns2 is done we have to come here and put all the path variables under this after this bin colon so we'll come and see here see almost done so if you get this is ns all in one package has been installed successfully so once you get this done then you mean you mean that there is no error and it is successfully installed above line you see just please compile your xgraph separately 
So sgraph is not been installed. So we can able to install that also. So no issues in that. But the NS all in one package has been installed successfully. And these are the installation places it is showing. So these are of no use. But when you read this line, please put this up to this entire path into your path environment. So what we have to do is just right click over up to this, right click and copy. Once you copy, come to this bash profile and simply paste it. Please see that each and every uh, parameter should be uh, separated by a colon. It is not semicolon. Now next, once you come to important notices, you must put this entire thing up to this, copy it uh, into your LD library path environmental variable. Since LD library path is not already there for as part of Linux, we have to write our own LD library. So how do we write this? Since we are using shell command, export LD library path equal to path. So what we can do is, we will just paste this line over here and we will simply type it export ld underscore score path equal to so that is done since again I am telling you uh, instead of comma it should be colon so the colon is here and once we done close this and exit this and exit this and close all the windows and simply log out.